All right, so we're going to draw a face at an angle. So we've drawn the first line going across at an angle. Whichever angle you want to be at, though, you can have it, you can have it really pointed. But if you do the line, then you're going to have the face all following. It'll all follow behind it. I'm only doing a slight angle on this one, but it can be a different angle. It could be further over. It could even be like this, even further over. So this is this is the teaching class. So you can have it like that. It's so going a bit wobbly. But wherever you have that angle at, going that way, you've got to have the angle going that way as well the same. So I'm actually, I might do a bit more angled one, but whichever way you want to do it, it's so do the line and then do the marking. So it's all, it's got to be the same though. You put the mark on, you do the face. It could be either way. <laughs> and then we're going to do it. So it could be this one, or we're doing that one. That one's more or less too straight. So I think we follow the slightly angled one. But just keep what you've got. Don't worry about what I'm doing here. Just keep what you've got. But, um, yeah, that's the way I'm at. All right, so we've got the same distance here. So as it's on the video. There we go. And then once you've got the line, it might, it might look straight on my camera, but my, my, my paper is that way. So it is slightly angled. It's, it's like that, my one. But it's packed to front. I don't understand why. Mine's more like, more like that, my one does. But it's, um, I always draw mine at the side. So you do, you put the eyes in. Doesn't really matter if this is not quite right because you can do the eyes properly afterwards. It's just getting the lines in right. Yeah. And then you do a line lightly following that, coming down from there. So you've got like a very light line and it's the same width coming down from where the nose goes. So if you've got it, it'd be about there for the nose. This is quite a small picture, but... Actually, I've got that right. There you go. Yep, so this would be the, the mouth. That's not quite the right, is it? So you've got to make sure that the angle is right. You've got to have an angled mouth there. So it's got to go. Follow that line there, that's already there. Then it'll go the same direction then. So it's going to be in that sort of direction. There we go. So it's light. It's a slight line. So it's Rivals here. It's it's looking a bit odd, <laughs> but um, I'm not sure that's the right angle that I've done there. But as um, long as you've got it more or less where you want it, I think that's slightly wrong. You yeah, might do it slightly wrong. <laughs> Same line, but slightly more angled than what I had it, so it's still there. Keep the dots the same place. That 
need a small angle the one way. So once you got you gotta have it right, otherwise it will look the face goes all skew with. It always has the top eyelid. Then the chin is about here, but then it comes underneath a little bit, so you can make it a little bit wider. So that's where the face comes up to. And it's about two lots up to the, where the hairline is. So that's about the top. The hairline would probably come about halfway, wouldn't it? The heart hairline would be around there. And from the eyes, it's about there where the ear starts. And from the end of the mouth, it's a little bit further down, is where the ear starts. So the ear will go up. Go up as high as the eyebrow. And then it will come down. Mm -hmm. And then it comes down onto the chin. It's the same distance from that one to there. Have you all got to that now? Yes. Oh, okay, cool, okay. All right, dear hole. Let me do the same way on the other side to do the other ear. Let's measure it with this. We've got the dot here. A little bit further, just a little bit, about halfway more. That's where the ear starts to come up, up as high as the eyebrow. So it go up and then it come down. And then it's from the nose, that's a bit too far, about there. So it's, it looks so small, doesn't it? <laughs> so it'll come down to about there, the other ear. It doesn't quite, that one's gone down a bit too far. There we go. That's really naughty, Debbie. Up to the nose, not to the ear. Sorry about that, folks. This is not going high. So, 
trying to get it so you got it all. There we go. It is at an angle. It looks straight on here, but it is at an angle. Does it look at an angle to you? Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> as long as it's at an angle. <laughs> You're going to do a lady with a hat. And it's going to come across. So it'll be just above her ears and it'll come up. Up. And it'll go. And this is the dark part of it and it'll come up and around again so we get come down past the nose and down here so that's the beginning bit of the hat <laughs> and it's gonna have all like a bit of feathers on it i thought it have something fluffy on it it could be flowers And then it'll have the top part of the hat coming up and over. <laughs> so we've got like this lady's gonna have her hair done next. We'll just get the, the hat outlined. Okay. Do the basics of it. Now, once you've got the lines all on the face, you take the lines out. And when you come to do the shading, if you're doing it in pencil, if you've got it in pencil, that you can shade it all in. If you're using pastels, do you have pastels yet, Daniel? No, I've not got them yet, Kevin. I've got to order them. You can just remind me. I've got all about them. I can't have them. I'll do them black and white for now. Uh, have yeah. you got any pastels, Charlie? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah. Okay. Because um, we, 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 we start, Daniel, off by doing the shading. As you've done earlier on in the class, earlier on, Daniel, do it very lightly, all the way, all over the face. Also, that's usually like it's um, pencil paint, so you can be in your one B and your B and your H. Yeah, they're very light, yeah. very lightly. You just hold on to it lightly and just go across like that, and it brings a very light colour on it. It's, it's not too dark. I think this class is amazing, Gabby. Oh, thank you, my darling. It's, uh, it's, uh, I, I like you to have a bit of both training here, because I know that... Um, Christine uses pencil, so there's two of you that are using pencils, and there's two of us that use pastels, so we're, it's even. <laughs> so we do a bit of both, because if you do the shading anyway, it will it will also change the colour when you put the pastels on. We'll have the shading there, so that'll be okay for the pastels as well. So we can do both on here. And this lady likes to wear her hats. So we, we'll just put it all over them and blend it in with our fingers. Once you've got that first layer on, and just blend it in over the face, and then we can put the other colours on, the other shading on, make it darker where it needs to be darker. It's the first layer of the shading. There's always shading coming down the face, around the eyes. You've got like uh, back onto the eyes, you have a bit of the, you have a little bit of a, 
shading where the bags of the eyes are. <laughs> Don't like to put it on them really, but it, every, eye, every eye has bags underneath them. Except for a small child, then they won't. We'll have to do this, the, this side view afterwards. We'll do this one first and then we'll do it. I should have done this pointing sideways, but just realised they're not she's not facing sideways, the face is still the same. It's always darker down the one side. So there's a bit of shading under that look. Look at that bit of wrinkles on her. She's a bit older lady. There's always shading in the different parts of us. There's always a shading bit there. This is still face on, sorry my lovelies. She wants to come through face on, sorry my <laughs> Might have been a side view spirit. <laughs> Like feathers here. Do the bit here a bit darker because it's got the shading from being underneath of the hat. And she's got some hair coming down, so we put a bit of hair in here. She's got her hair coming down.
Did you see the darker? This this top bit here a bit darker. We do two pictures today for you because I didn't do the side view. She wanted to show her hat off. <laughs> She's at an angle, so it's a, it's a bit of a difference, I think. I'll have to tell them off next time. I've also got this stick, which is like a charcoal stick, which is good for doing dark bits. You can buy them. You get a pack of four, I think it is, and they, have, they come in different shades. You can do the thread a bit, a bit easier. Bring it down a bit. Where the hat actually goes is shaded in places. In the hair. We'll colour it after, so don't worry. <laughs> Those are just so. Uh, I've already started doing the colouring yet, you never know. You might have done already. <laughs> Trying to get her hair to show a bit more. Carry on making them a little bit darker, Daniel. Just do adding more color, more shading as you're going along. All right, my darling. I'll just start putting the color on for everybody else. But I'll highlight the eyes afterwards. So we'll start by putting those of you that are doing the color. We will start with the light pink. Let's look at that first top coat now. And a darker pink just to get the rosiness of the cheekbones down the side of the face. And just a little bit so we can blend it in. Dirty, but we're going to put some old white on in a minute, so don't worry. Give her some blue eyes.
Let's see how color that comes out. It comes out yellowy, doesn't it? I have to give her a light colour hair because I feel she's got a light colour hair. She has blue eyes now. Then if that's showing, I might have to use a darker yellow. Let's move the yellow. like a man but she would be a lady <laughs> into the blonde streak see it makes it stand out because not all hair is blonde hair is the same shade you can add some more white bits to it afterwards which dulls it down quite nicely When you're doing the lips, do the top lip darker than the lighter lip. If you're doing it in pencil, it's the same effect. Darker on the top and lighter at the bottom. And there's always shading underneath. There's slightly bit of shading underneath. She's coming out a bit now, isn't she? There's always shading on this inside bit, one side and the face is being drawn. And the hair is there. We'll do the face in a minute. There 
This is the fun bit. Do you have the eyes making the eyes stand out? The top pile is always darker. Try to give a little bit of white if you can on the eyes as you've got me. The sun coming through and shining on. We give her a nice bright coloured hat. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it purple, <laughs> so it stands out. <laughs> we can have the colour hat, whatever colour hat you want. So this is about bringing in that bit of colour. If you're doing colour, add a nice bit of colour. Right, okay, Danny, that was my lovely. I think this hat needs to come out a little bit further. The one side's a bit lighter than the other anyway, so one side's shading and one side's. That looks better. when you need the um, wipes. I really like it at the beginning here. That's just the rim. It's looking okay. Sorry, that will end in a Same colour on or not. I think it's going to be darker. So the feathers.
to give her the white colour eyebrow. Just gets the colour right. A little bit of pencil. So it's a little, so it might be light brown. It was a medium sized brown, but it was a nice shade. That, that is how she is. She's looking sideways, isn't she? Quite a young lady, isn't she? This will be the neck here. Oh, I think Lighter top on. Shading one at you. And under her She's nearly finished. <laughs> A little bit of white on in places makes it stand out.
I don't even still show them. The top right on over here. And yeah, over here. Come on, but I start bleeding. Got little earrings. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> I have a bit of a around. It's a bit darker at the wind. 